Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jill Wright Shovlin, and I'm here to present my marketing analysis on the LA Clippers after the Donald Sterling scandal. I think one of the most important factors is going to be confidence of the team and organization. Confidence begins with a new owner. This will solidify that the team has a new image and is under new control. Uh, so will give the fans a, a new outlook on the team and the focus can be switched to the exciting things to come and the entertainment value. Focus should be put on the star players like Chris Paul and Blake Griffin and hopefully the new owner Steve Ballmer. Uh, there's a slogan that any publicity is good publicity. Everyone is watching. It's up to us to put the attention to good use. Uh, whether good, bad, ugly, sad, politically incorrect or correct, the fact is that everyone uh, in the sports world has been focused on the LA Clippers. The team is now in the spotlight. Uh, we can use community outreach projects and fan incentives to drive revenue and gain more, f more fan attention. Uh, I think creating a new mission statement for the team will be important. Um, I've created one uh, to create a marketing strategy that reaches the community of LA and the surrounding suburbs. One that creates excitement within the NBA and sports audiences through TV, radio, and social media to show a team united with the focus on winning basketball games and filling the seats with devoted fans. Um, I, I have included a list of current some of the current company sponsors and sponsorships that we have, Mercedes-Benz, Diego Liquor Company, the Commerce Hotel and Casino, State Farm Insurance, uh, CarMax, Virgin America, Red Bull, Kia Motors, and Sprint, um, all of which either suspended their sponsorship with the LA Clippers or they've dropped us completely. I think two of the very important ones are going to be State Farm Insurance along with Red Bull. Um, they both also have player endorsements, uh, State Farm with Chris Paul and Red Bull with Blake Griffin. And I think it's going to be very important for the team to work on those relationships and regain their trust. Uh, my recommendations for the nine sponsors listed above, um, we need to show that, that the Clippers have a zero tolerance rule as far as discrimination is concerned. We'll need to reach out to all of our sponsors, whether in danger of losing them or not. Uh, communication is key in keeping their support. They should be the first people to know decisions we make about where our focus lies and who is an, in any leadership roles within the Clippers organization. Like I said, focus should be put on Red Bull and on State Farm Insurance since they also have athlete endorsements with our star players. I think that two of the sports scandals that we can use for examples um, and in comparison to this would be the 2009 Tiger Woods scandal. I like this comparison because it shows Tiger with Nike as his sponsor still today with $20 million a year sponsorship. Um, the scandal was a personal matter that affected his career and golf in general. Um, the the one I'd like to compare that to is the Lance Armstrong scandal. Also, uh, just an individual that had a scandal. These are individual sports, so that varies a little bit with the scandal we're talking about, and that's a team sport, basketball. But I like this because Lance Armstrong was also sponsored by Nike, and they withdrew from him immediately after there was proof of his cheating allegations. Um... It just shows that they dropped him because his scandals, scandal was directly affecting his performance as an elite athlete. And this differs from Woods and Sterling, whose private matters brought on the negative attention. I think that we can show that we do not have the same views as an organization that Donald Sterling does. He's just one man, and in, we have zero tolerance, and we do not stand behind what he said. Community outreach is going to be a huge portion of of our marketing strategy and how we regain trust in sponsors and in fans and just in the community of Los Angeles. I feel that community outreach and involvement should be one of the main parts of our marketing strategy. LA is a very diverse city with many ethnicities and races amongst its population. The Clippers organization should team up with inner city youth basketball teams in, in Los Angeles to show their support of youth, of youth, youth athletics. Uh, star players should be front and center at many different community events. Players of white, African-American, and other ethnic backgrounds should be present together to represent 
one united team organization. These players should also uh, be present at events run by the organizations and current sponsors and any sponsors we're looking to add to our list. I think we also have to show that there's an advantage to being a season ticket holder. We need to take the focus off of the scandal and add it back to our fans and the support of our winning basketball team. Uh, there should be incentives and advantages to being a season ticket holder, such as meet and greet opportunities, free parking, uh, free guest admissions, concession coupons, discounted merchandise. There should also be a fan appreciation event. Um, they should get the first chance at playoff tickets. And there should be coupons and discounts at sponsored company events, products, services. Uh, keeping and gaining new season ticket holders will show that we are regaining trust and support. Um, I also did a SWOT analysis of the Clippers surviving this scandal. I think strengths are that LA is a very diverse city. Public eye is focused on our next move. And new ownership means a new fresh outlook and enthusiasm for the organization. Weaknesses would be that sponsors did make immediate decisions to drop or suspend us. Uh, race is not an easy subject to come back from once or has been damaged on there. And uh, the team's success on the court will also damage the organization's image if it is not a winning season. Opportunities would be that we have a chance to show zero tolerance with discrimination and unite the organization. Uh, this is added fuel to the fire. can help drive the players and coaches towards success on the court. And this can strengthen relationships with sponsors if we go about it in the correct way. Uh, threats would be that we can lose all or most of our company sponsors. Players may decide that they want to leave the organization as well. And we could result in a downward spiral if we do not make immediate changes. I think social media is going to be vital to our success. Uh, Twitter will be vital for the athletes to reach out to the fans and let them know that they're enthusiastic about the upcoming season and that, you know, feel that the NBA did make the right decision by terminating Sterling and banning him from the NBA. Um, Instagram should be used to show photos of star players at company outreach events and involved with sponsor companies. Uh, Facebook should highlight fan incentives as well as show company sponsors and logos. Uh, I think emotional marketing is also going to be a key part of our strategy. Uh, campaigns such as the Budweiser Horses and the Dalmatian are used to touch the emotional side of a fan. This helps make a connection between the fans and the organization or the product services offered. Uh, TV commercials should be used to show players such as Chris Paul and Blake Griffin interacting with inner city youth basketball players of all races, ethnicities, and genders. It should tug at the heartstrings of America. A new theme should be presented to show that the team cares and will stand by the zero tolerance rule that we're putting in place. Uh, maybe one such as athletics for all or be proud, be athletic, be kind. Something that shows that we do care and that we, we do not agree with the statements that were made by Donald Sterling. Uh, I think attention needs to be put back on the fans. Two good ways to do this are to have contests and bundling packages. Uh, contests to draw fans to games will show company sponsors that we're turning over a positive front and focus on increasing revenue and filling the seats. Uh, the more season ticket holder attention, the more they will build back trust in us. Uh, bundling is a great way to show support in our sponsors. Uh, also a great fan incentive to get more business for our sponsors and fill our stands. Uh, it's a great way to advertise on the radio. It'll promote our organization and include our sponsors. Uh, in conclusion, I feel that the focus needs to be put back on the basketball and the star players. We need to build back the trust that our sponsors once had in us. The organization needs to form a united front to show that we have zero tolerance for any type of discrimination. Uh, com community outreach will be a huge part of putting the pieces back together. We need to keep the fans interested with the new incentive opportunities to draw the focus away from the scandal and the feelings of one man. Working on our relationships with our existing sponsors while forming new sponsorships is key to our success and revenue. Um, the use of social media will help dramatically since it's instant communication with an audience that currently has our attention. Thank you so much.